Let me show you how to set up Blurp for Kick and YouTube. First, we gotta go to Blurp, which I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can follow along at home. Once you've clicked the link, it'll bring you to the universal extension, which is over on Blurp. From here, we're gonna click this little begin setup button. So we'll click that. Now it's gonna prompt us to log in or sign up for a Blurp account if we don't already have one. So I'm actually gonna log in with a Google account just that I made for this video. So I'm gonna click log in with Google, but you can feel free to pick whichever one you'd like. I'm gonna log in with this one that I just made. Now, if you logged in with Google or a different account, it might prompt you to customize your Blurp account, but if it doesn't, that's fine too. So I'm gonna confirm that my username is okay and my birthday is correct. And then I'm gonna click agree and then continue. Now that we have a Blurp account, all of the magic can start to happen. So the first thing we're gonna do is click this little dashboard button that we see right there. Next, you can put in, I was referred by and streamer or whatever, and you can put in my name if you'd like. Then you can click, I saw it on YouTube, which you're watching right now. Then you can click, take me to set up to progress the signup process. Now we're gonna click get started in the bottom right. Then we're gonna click next. Now we need to download the Blurt browser extension. You can get it for Chrome, Opera, or Microsoft Edge, and they're gonna be working on more options in the future. I'm using Google Chrome right now, so I'm gonna click the little Google Chrome option. Now it'll bring us to the extension page, so I'm gonna click add to Chrome. I'm gonna click add extension. It's gonna add the extension to my Chrome in just a couple seconds. Now it says that Blurp has been successfully added to Chrome, so I'm gonna X that out. Now we can confirm that by going up to our little extensions. I'm gonna click the little puzzle piece if you're on Chrome, and I'm gonna pin the Blurp one just so you can see that it is added. So now you can click the little Blurp extension and it'll show it right there. If it says you need to log in, all you have to do is connect your account, which in this case, I'm gonna go to my profile and log out just to show you, because you might be hit with something like this where it says log in. So I'm gonna click log in. It's gonna bring us over back over to Blurp, and then you can just log in the same way you did to make your account. So for this instance, I'm gonna log in with my Google account, and then it's going to refresh the page and it's gonna say successfully set up. And that just means that your Blurp extension is now going to have the correct connections it needs to have. So let's go back to the original Blurp page over here. And now that we've successfully added the extension, we can click the next button in the bottom right corner. Now it's gonna give us our viewer link, and this is gonna be the link that we give to our viewers. Makes sense, right? So if we look conveniently behind my webcam, there's a little button that says claim. If you wanna make edits to your link, you can just click and make those edits. And then when you're happy with that link, you can just click the little claim button and it will claim your viewer link. Once you've claimed your link, we're gonna click next in the bottom right corner once again. Now we have to find a way to give this link to our viewers easily. And that's either by getting a panel for the bottom of our stream on Kick, or it's by using a chat bot in order to post in the chat for both Kick and YouTube. So we'll start by just grabbing one of these right here. If you want, you can just find the one that you'd like and just right click it and click save image as. Then you can click save. Now I'm gonna go over to my Kick profile. I'm gonna log in with my burner account. This is literally just a fake account I made for this video, so don't bother following it or anything. If you wanna follow me on Kick and ask me questions live, that is linked in the description down below. But once you're logged in with your Kick account, I'm gonna go to the top right corner, and then we're gonna go to Channel. From here, you're gonna be brought to your About page, and this is where you can click on the Edit Panels button at the bottom. Then we're gonna click this little plus button, and we're just going to add an image. We're gonna click Add Image again, and now we can select the image that we just downloaded. You can crop it if you'd like, but I think it looks fine the way it is. Click Save. And under the Image Links to, you're gonna paste that viewer link that you copied. But if you didn't copy it, no worries. Let's go back to Blurp and grab it. It's gonna be this link right here. So I'm just gonna highlight it and then I'm gonna right click and hit copy. And then we're gonna go back to kick and we're just gonna paste it under the image links to category. So I'm just gonna click paste. Then we're gonna click add. Now it's added that panel. And if you wanna see it, just click videos and then go back to about and then boom, we got our panel. And you can tell that the image links to it because if you hover over it, you can see that if we click it, it's gonna bring us over to the link that they need to be sent to. And this is what it'll look like for the viewer when they click that link. But we don't have anything set up yet. So let's go back. So we're gonna click next in the bottom right corner. And then it's just gonna differentiate that there's a thing called Beats, which your viewers can pay for and you'll get money for, but they'll also earn free points just by watching your stream only if they have that Blurp extension installed to their computer. And so if they have that, they'll earn about 300 points per hour watching your stream. But if they don't have that, or if they're watching from mobile or anything, then they're gonna have to pay for Beats, which then you'll get some commissions on for whenever they play sounds on your stream. So then we're gonna click next in the bottom right. Now we're gonna pick our defaults. So if you just don't wanna have have beats or you don't want to have one or the other, you can click in the top right corner and it will disable or enable them. And beats are going to be about one penny each. So if you have it 50 beats, you're going to get about 50 cents roughly. And honestly, when you're first starting out with this, I think it's a good idea to keep the cost low just to introduce it to your community so they can kind of get it integrated and start actually using it. Because if it's too expensive, then they're not going to be able to use these things. So I'm going to change the cost of this to about 25 to 50. I think that's fair. And you could probably leave this at about 100 to 150, but it's up to you and your personal preference. So then we're gonna
going to click next. Now, if we want to make adjustments to the cooldown, we can do that, but we'll do that later. So we're going to click next in the bottom right. Now we're going to connect all the accounts that we want to our Blurp account. So we're going to click next again. And this is where we're going to add both our kick account or our YouTube or both if you'd like. So right now we're going to add our kick account by clicking add kick. Now we're going to go back to our kick profile. And once you're on your kick profile, you can confirm that by going to the top right and click channel. That'll bring you to your profile. And we're going to go up here and then we're going to copy this. So we're going to copy. We're going to go back to Blurp. Now we're going to go and right click and paste this URL in here. And just make sure to do this because don't add the www dot. And there's like a bunch of things that can go wrong. So just do this process. going to make it easier and just confirm that you have the exact URL that it says up here. And once you've confirmed that, you can click submit. And since Kick is a brand new integration with Blurp, they're going to have a team member review it within the next 24 hours just to make sure it's all set up correctly and no headaches for you. So once you've linked that, you're going to click close and it's going to say pending. Now, if we want to add our YouTube account, we can click add YouTube. Now we're going to find the email associated with our YouTube account. So I'm going to click mine. Next, we're going to scroll all the way down where it says allow. And now it says your YouTube has been added successfully. Now, after all that, we're going to click next again. And this is where we're going to add the browser source. So we're going to click this little copy button right here. And now we're going to open up our streaming software, whether that be OBS Studio, Streamlab, Stream Elements, doesn't matter. I've opened up OBS Studio. And if you're wondering where I got this cool overlay package, I'll leave a video in the top right corner. But we're going to add a browser source. We're going to go to our source list, whether that be OBS, doesn't matter your streaming software, but just go to your sources where you can add them. Click plus source. We're going to go add a browser source and we're going to call it Blurp. Click OK. Then we're going to paste in the URL we just got. And then we're going to click OK again. And now we're going to go back to Blurp. We're going to click the test audio button. Go back to our software. I love you. And then you're going to make sure that you see the alert and you're going to also hear the alert. If you see the alert, but you don't hear it, then just double click the browser source and you're going to click control audio via whatever, then click OK. Go to the audio mixer, then click on advanced audio properties. Go to the blurt browser source, audio monitoring, monitor and output. That's only if you're not hearing it. If you are hearing it, ignore everything I just said, and then you can just go back and uncheck that and click OK, because then you're good to go. So once it's set up properly, we're going to click I heard it and click next next just to show that everything is connected properly. Now we're going to click go to universal extension because this is when the fun part finally happens. And by the way, if this video is helpful so far, make sure to drop a like on the video so I can help you more. So this is going to be the dashboard where you basically control everything related to blur. So this is going to choose the global price of how much it's going to cost. So if you want things to cost 20 cents or 20 beats, you can just type in 20 or if you want it to cost 100 points, so on and so forth, you change it up here. Pretty common sense. You can also check out the settings in the top right corner where it says settings. This is where you're going to set up your payments if you want to get paid. This is going to be your viewer link that you send to your viewers via that panel or a chat bot like I'd mentioned earlier. I'd recommend enabling the Blurp Fresh Content button because that's just going to automatically curate your playlist of sounds with new content without you having to manually do everything. You can also set a cooldown in case you don't want people to spam it so you can set it in seconds. You can also change the prices here as well. You can find your browser source link. You can customize your browser source overlay so the little alert that pops up. You can do that over here and also pick from different designs as well. But that's all customization and up to your choice and also block people from using blurps in case they're annoying. And then you can also scroll down where you can link more of your streaming accounts if you want to. But we're going to go all the way back up and click this little back arrow to get back to our universal extensions tab. So from here, now that we've enabled the fresh content, you can already see that we have some options for sounds here. So you can go and just click the little play button. Yeah. It'll play the sound and then you can make adjustments to it on the right hand side side, which is right here, these little dots. So you can click that. So you can test the audio. You can change the volume of how loud it's going to play on your stream. And then you can also choose to keep it because remember, these are automatically imported because of the blurt fresh content. So if you like it, you can click keep and it's going to add to your actual library. And if you wanted to add more sounds or different sounds, you can go to the discover tab on the top left. And this is where you're going to go and scroll through all of the different sounds. You can also search with the search bar up here, but you can also just click the little play button to preview it. And if you like it, you can click the little plus button and then you can click add. And it's going to add to our universal extension. So we can either click view or click on universal extension on the left. And if we scroll all the way down, you can see that we have this new bonk sound added. And you can also change the prices individually here in case you wanted to make some more expensive or less expensive. So now let's check out how it looks for the actual viewer. So before we do that, we're going to click this little viewer link up here. And that's just going to give us our links again. So if you want the link to get them to the website, you can copy this one. If you want them to earn channel points, 
points for free so they can play sounds for free, then you're going to copy this link right here and you're going to either put that in the panel or you're going to add it as a chatbot command. So let's go over to our kick stream. So if you go to your kick page, then you can go all the way down and click the chat button. And so they can either see the panel in the about section to get to the actual page or they can see this little button right here if they installed the Blurt browser extension. So if they have this Blurt browser extension installed for their browser, they'll be able to see this button and they can share sounds that way and also gain those channel points so they can share sounds for free. So if you actually click this button, they'll be able to see all your sounds, but it says that you haven't finished the onboarding process because remember earlier, it takes about 24 hours for a team member to review your process since it's just starting out now as something new. So they just wanna make sure that everything's gonna be set up correctly. But in 24 hours, once everything has been approved, they'll be able to use this Blurp extension to start getting free points. So just to show you what it looks like over on YouTube, I'm gonna go and make a mock live stream. So I'm gonna click go live over here. I'm gonna click later date. I'm gonna click streaming software just to get to the stream tab page over here. Not actually gonna go live. I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. Then from here, I'm going to click the share button in the top right, get this little live stream link. I'm just gonna play it in a different tab. So this is what a mock live stream will look like. And if they have the browser extension enabled like this one right here, then they'll be able to see this little blurp icon which shows up right next to the like button. So that's where they're gonna be able to get and share sounds there. If you have any questions or something's not working right, just go to blurp, go to the bottom left corner and click the help tab. You can join their discord and ask as many questions as you'd like. But if you wanna share your links such as the custom viewer link or the browser extension download, then you can watch this playlist to the side of me which has everything you need to know for your kick streams, including how to set up a chat bot. So give that playlist a watch, but my name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.